In the previous episode, we installed the downstairs acoustic ceiling and the upstairs floor in the underground Earthbag Muse Art Studio. This week, it's time for windows and doors, but first, we have a confession. We are secretly filling in the outside of this for when we come out and do stucco. So, don't tell anyone. All right, the trim for the windows. We got the windows and we got the door. We're all good. Now it should be everything. You know, I do like this this door here. It's kind of growing on me. Yeah. Open design. It's, it's airy. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> threshold. Threshold. That's okay, right. So we're putting it in the threshold. It's gonna be made out of cement, and then we're gonna put the board inside the cement to hold it in there. So that should work. So this is my new dog's paw. New dog is bullet. He's right over there. <laughs> good boy. Yeah, this is bullet. He's my new dog. He's a good dog. Put a piece of flashing on the threshold to separate the dirt from the wood. Why not protect against that, you know? It's time to get those windows in. We are excited. Yes, we are. In the corner? Well, show my fingers out. It's interesting too with the back building. Yeah. As you tamp the bags down and stuff, any frames you put in place, you just gotta make sure they're dead level mm -hmm. and either nail them or level them in as you go because as you put those bags in and tamp those bags down, your frames can shift around a little bit. Oh, you're back. Yes, I found shoes. Wow. For Pinocchio. They fit inside my other shoes, so they're gonna be really comfortable to walk around in all day. Pinocchio. We wish upon stars. <laughs> crack in it. And it's got double pain, so. Double pain because hey, we have to take it here it's and a back. Pain. Yeah, I was just gonna say pain. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a pain, right? Yeah. Putting some trim around the windows. Easy peasy. Nail them down. Cut the sides. We were out enjoying our cobbing session, singing oh, as usual. Singing, normal. As usual. Yeah. Laughing. Enjoying each other's company. Yeah. And then Bryson joins us. And our wonderful little session turns into an argument about measurements. Like, you treated her like she didn't know anything. So I would respond. <laughs> what is that even? <laughs> you know, I know all sorts of measurements because I work in like, Probably you know, like thing, stuff. But... And I'm like, huh, ah, oh, oh, you, you know what go. a cubit <laughs> it is? What a... oh, but I know what a cubit is. But do you know what a centimeter is? And I was like, no, Bryson, I don't know what a <laughs> centimeter is. But I, in the end, I won because he didn't know what a cubit was. That's Shay. I mean, she did not know what a cubic was because it is this. No, a cubic Look is from your up. elbow to your you, the, your middle fingertip. I wanted us to move on to other things because, you know, I am I can ace a lot of things, but measurements aren't one of them. So it's we not were, something we you were outside of my field of expertise. <laughs> okay, move over that way a little bit. The doors are really sensitive things. You get them a centimeter off and they won't shut. And so it's like, they're really difficult to get right. Okay, let's do this. How's that look? Pattern, if you can get it on setting on a level ground and get one side plumb, okay, now the other two sides take care of themselves. If it's a square hole or a rectangular yes. square hole with 90 degrees, that's what we're looking for. That get one corner 90, Use. the rest of it flies. Use. We have a bit of a, um, a problem with the plumbness of the, of the post kind of tilts in. 
uh, looks like this got pushed in a little bit, so we need to unpush it by uh, cutting off a little bit here so I can get the door in. On double door, it's a little more complicated because you got six foot. Yeah. And then we also, too, have not just one reveal, which is a reveal is the separation between doors or the separation between the door jam and the door itself, that reveal, what it reveals itself. We want that to be even all the way around. Okay. Whoops. Hey, at least it's in there, right? <laughs> no, it looks really good. family got a chance to go up last week and visit Garen up at the ski resort that he's working at. It was really a lot of fun to see the environment he's in and see his apartment and where he's working. Yeah, and Garen had given him free passes so they all got to, to go skiing for the day. It was Bryson got a chance to try out uh, Garen's uh, ski bike. You know, that was kind of fun to watch that thing. Boy, it takes a lot he of work. That. He yeah, loves oh, that. Yeah, he spent I think, most of the time. Yeah. I only think he snowboarded a little bit, but he spent most of his time on the ski bike. Yeah. We don't look very cool going down this way with skates, huh? That's okay. They're very flattering. <laughs> ski skates. Ski skates is yeah. what the girls like to do, so. Just before we got there, Garen had won the annual snow shovel race. This is the first time a shovel racing. When he asked why he should shovel race, because Ellie talked me. 58 miles per hour. 58 miles an hour, I believe. Oh my God. 58 miles. <laughs> so, you know, at least we raised him with a lot of good sense. Yes. <laughs> to win. <laughs> So, but he did really good. Yeah, yeah, he fun. showed us his little plaque yeah, that he yeah, got. Plaque, and he won and some, some prize money. money so yeah, pretty cool. What a great opportunity for him to be able to, you know, go up and do this. We're excited to have him back home, and yeah. I think he's going to come back maybe in the next month or so. Yep. Yeah. As soon as the snow starts melting off up there, though. So our door is finished. It now opens with the door handle, shuts and locks. It's done. That was good to finish it. Well, our project was a little bigger than expected, so we'll have to finish the stucco next time. We got our doors in, we got our windows in, with the exception of that one window. We gotta find some time to go up and pick up the other one and drop that one off and time to get to town so we can put that last window in. Stay tuned for next time when we continue building on the Earthbag Muse Art Studio. We are now doing the live stream podcast every week, Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Dan, a certified aquaponics designer, will be joining us for the next one. We're really excited to have him with us and we hope that you join us. Have a wonderful week. Consider supporting us on Patreon. <laughs> you do that with the other camera too. <laughs> nope, I 3D printed it and he looks good. He? And where can we go look at that? Uh, you can guys, if you want to look at it, you can check it out on my channel. It should be out at today, actually. Four of them. Four windows. Let's see what we went for. Four windows and two doors. Well, I decided to go with even numbers this time. Yes, two doors, four windows. Is that six windows? Yeah, One technically door. it is because there's in six windows. Actually, actually there's 12. Total window. 12 windows. Window. Because they're each double paned. <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Tsunami. But you know, in case of a flood or yeah, a tsunami, tsunami comes in, extreme we have like weather conditions, forty foot wave <laughs> come flying by, yeah, and it water gets on there, it will protect it. Oh. It'll be nice and dry inside. Yep. Get your swim trunks on. As long as the roof or windows don't give out. For surfing, wave yeah. board. Yeah.